Historic cemetery in Wallingford vandalized several times recently. It's going to cost thousands to repair. Yeah, people with loved ones there say they are saddened and disgusted by what's going on. News 8's Bob Wilson reports tonight from Wallingford. 1683. That's when the Center Street Cemetery was opened up. It's on the National Historic Registry, an amazing place. The forefathers are buried here. And this is what we're talking about. This is damage from previous vandals. The fresh damage is on the other side, and they say the problem is it just keeps happening and happening. They have to keep repairing the stones, and now it's starting to add up to the point where they need to step in and do something. Our forefathers are buried in this town. This town goes back to 1679. No, earlier, than believe, I believe in that. And, you know, We've got to put some resources to secure the cemetery. Vandals have smashed, broken, and cracked nearly $35,000 worth of headstones over the past couple of years. And the most recent round of ruined stones happened this week. We're going to have to dig this out and repair this with an epoxy and a limestone match to make this gravestone look like it was when it was first put here. How old are these things? Um, you're looking at over 200 years old. Sullivan wants to bring in a proposal before the board that would fund locks for the gates and security cameras for the fences. He says it's time to act and do something about this now before vandals ruin the entire cemetery. It's more than that. It, these are historic monuments, and you can't put a dollar value on them. We know what it costs to fix them, but you can't replace them anymore. Once they're gone, they're gone. They're taking this very seriously. As a matter of fact, they're doing their part. They're adding patrols coming in through this side and going out the back side in the middle of the night. They're here to try and keep people out. However, they say they may even try to add a couple of lights on motion sensors along here so that way it can tip police off when somebody is in the cemetery. And as far as the investigation goes, police say they do have a suspect, but town leaders say they can't talk about it because it's an ongoing investigation. We're in Wallingford. Bob Wilson, News 8.